everybody. Um. Oh. I am reborn. What? I will feast on your entrails and devour your soul. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Nomax sneaking the bug into that exorcism was an uncharacteristic stroke of genius. Demonic <laughs> possession is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> what? What? Oh, Commissioner. No, that was uh, Max's aunt. Yes, 14 packs a day. What's that? <laughs> yes. Yes? No. Yes? Sweet suffering Saint Sebastian on a sousaphone in a short story by Susan Sontag. We're on our way. Let me guess. Our friendly neighborhood demon just burnt down another monastery. No, Max, we have a far more bloodthirsty adversary this time. The President of the United States of America. What? The man's gone nuts. He's enacting all kinds of crazy new laws. What else is new? But how is he Federal doing that without going... Hugs ...before, during, and after all major sporting events. So? He's curtailing civil liberties, threatening the environment. Hey, that makes three of us. And he's about to introduce mandatory gun registration. Get the keys. Yep, that's... I'm not surprised. And also, ooh, it's blue! Well, that was a serious intro. I wasn't expecting that. So... Oh, this is loud. Anyhow. Yeah, I decided to record another one, and I didn't even see the title, but this is case 104. Apparently something to do with the president? Abe Lincoln must die. Apparently, and apparently he's still alive in this. I have to point out, Sam, that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you just let me drive. And I have to point out that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you hadn't jumped on my head shouting Jersey Devil, Jersey Devil, and firing your gun out the window. I swear, that woman was a dead ringer for him. Well, here we are, standing in an open field west of the White House. Let's go bring the hammer down on that so-called Commander-in-Chief. And here we are! Let's go over here and look at things before we go anywhere. Please do not feed the submarine. What can you feed a submarine anyway? Nothing. Aren't you listening? <laughs> hey, my missing boxing glove! I was wondering where that the went. Best place you look. Hey, Periscope. The White House pool, most secure waiting pool on Earth. To me, two teeth. What are you doing here, Jimmy? Oh, great! What are you guys doing here? Just saving the world. What are you doing here? I happen to take my vacations at the White House, and I need a little R and R. Speaking of which, beat it. All right. This is strange. Valley parking, two dollars. Way to knock down that deficit. All right, we have the bug. Very bossy bug, gun, and a boxing glove. Suspect yourself. That's so Madonna. What? Payphone? Hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid 555 phones. Yes, actually. 555-1984. 1984 how I've memorized pi to 1,000 decimal places? It's 3.14159265358979. Do you have a piece of paper handy? You want to write down the phone number? I remember the number. I want to write myself a reminder to smother you with a pillow in your sleep. <laughs> Post no bills. I'm surprised this sign survived the Clinton administration. Oh, jeez. Let's look at the sign. Your name here. For naming rights to this building. Please contact the Office of Desperation Accounting. Oh boy! Can we, Sam? Please? We'll see, little buddy. Hmm. White paint, Christmas lights, and a small barbecue. Huh! Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Later, Max. Later. Yeah, that... that I know that's your typical Tuesday night, but later. Step aside, buddy. Freelance police. Just a moment, sir. 
Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Possible situation at the front door. Talking dog and der rabbit trying to gain access to the OO. Please advise over. Super Bowl? Yeah, that's a negative on the access permission, sir. Damn! I'll have to ask you and your little friend to step away from the White House. Doggy Daddy, this is Loose Cannon. Request permission to pants this goon. Over. Before we try physical violence, Max, let's try dazzling the man with our razor sharp wit and labyrinthine logical conundrums. Ah, emotional violence. Good plan. Yes. Leaves deeper scars and physical. Anyway, did you call yourself Super Bowl? Did you call yourself Super Bowl? Codename, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. And who's Papa Bear? Section Chief. Runs the operation. Protects the president. Oh, Super Bowl. I get it. Uh. Don't you get bored? Don't you get bored guarding this door? It's a rewarding job, sir. Doing my part. Keeping the president safe. Hey, Super Bowl. I'd like you to smell these two handkerchiefs and tell me which one smells more like chloroform. Not now, Max. Yeah, d not yet. Is that all you do? Is that all you do? Guard this door? That's my primary assignment, sir. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100. Try to guess it while I drop increasingly heavy weights near your head. What's your secondary assignment? <laughs> Varies. Receptionist, maintenance, light grounds work, public relations. Public relations? I'm a people person, sir. Odd jobs, they yeah. Are you guys doing odd jobs too? Cutback, sir. Employee Reduction and Consolidation Act of 2003. These sunglasses aren't cheap. Hey, Super Bowl! What gauge syringe would be best for injecting you with a knockout serum? Just a hypothetical. You really have time to do everything else and guard this door? I make the time, sir. It's what I do. Alright then. I, I respect that. As I do many, many, many random odd jobs where I work. I respect that. Uh... What else do you do? What else do you do besides guard this door? Varies. Receptionist, maintenance, oh. light grounds. I just went into a loop. Or not. Oh, thank you. Can I talk to your manager? I want to talk to your manager. No can do, sir. He's with the president. Damn. We'll be back. I've had enough of this. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Perp's exiting zone four now. Seem disgruntled. Stay on the lookout. Over. Now can we push him down and beat him with sewage-filled garbage bags until he runs crying into the reflecting pool? Tempting, Max, but these Secret Service guys hold a grudge. All right. Whee! Oh. There he goes. There's a small mailbox here. Uh, it's one of those ornamental mailboxes that doesn't actually open. Well, that's government efficiency for you. All right, let's get going, in. Sam? Let's go back to the office. Back to the office. I'll drive. Not while I'm alive. It, yeah. Thanks. And probably smart. All right, let's. All right, let's check out what everybody is doing. I need to grab my phone. There it is. Oh, there it goes. That. I think my phone's starting to die on me, guys. It's not good. Oh, let's go check what Sybil's new odd job is. Oh, she's selling room. Batting service? Oh, dating service. I was trying to read this and it looked like batting. I'm like, what even? Sybil, what are you doing? Oh. Uh. Alright. Here, let's go check Sybil. Sybil! What you doing, Sybil? Hey! Hey, Sybil. What's new in the world of frequent random career reassessment? Hi, fellas. I'm really excited. I found the perfect job for me. You oh? don't say. That's right. I, Sybil Pandemic, am now a professional matchmaker. I <sighs> thought I smelled phosphorus. I thought I smelled that joke coming down the turnpike, burning oil and dragging its muffler. It's a dating service, Max. I figured that if a smart, successful career woman like me could be having so much trouble finding a date, there must be plenty of other people who could use help. Uh, you can't get a... Yeah, that's... You're having trouble what? finding your soulmate? You don't know the half of it. 
It seems like all the guys I meet are total losers. No offense. None taken. Hey! <laughs> or else they're borderline psychopaths. No offense. None taken! It's the borderline cases you have to watch out for. Oh, goodness. What kind of man are you looking for? Older men. Guys with a little history to them are such a turn on. Why do I have a creepy feeling this is oh, gonna be and involved? And distinguished. Oh no. And he should be experienced. <laughs> Alright, enough already. Yes, I will go out with you, Sybil. <laughs> I thought she was talking about me. Anyway. <sighs> What's next on the career horizon? Next? This is it. Yeah, we um do a better job than helping people find their perfect match. True, but you've volcano said this before. God. Good point. Yeah, volcano I'll god. Stick to the dating business though. <laughs> he he brought up a good point, Sybil. Uh How many matches have you made? How many couples have you managed to escort to romantic bliss? So far, none. Oh. None is the loneliest number. But I've got a feeling things will start to pick up after the holidays. All that stress makes for a lot of messy breakups. And a lot of people looking for romance on the rebound. So we have something to look forward to. Uh, can you find dates for us? Because why not? Max and me? Seriously? I mean, sure. <laughs> why not? Stranger things have happened. I guess they must have somewhere. I'm choosing not to be offended by that. What do we need to do? It's easy. Just submit an application. All right. That's gonna come into play later. See you around, Sybil. See you around, Sybil. Alrighty. Oh, I like it's that. It's how his eyes seem to follow me wherever I go. That fox is totally checking you out. Go for it, Sam. No, I'm okay. I kind of wish I would have been able to play this for a uh, Valentine's Day. Dang it. Oh well. I don't. I didn't even own this then. Whee! But still. Oh. Pff. Let's go up and look in the office and see what we have um, left over from the mold, the mob, and the meatball. In our closet of doom. I'm gonna yell tiny hoodlums. Anybody home? Guess not. Nope. Alright. Oh! Leonard! It's our favorite shifty card cheat. Leonard Steak Charmer. How you doing, Leonard? <laughs> I thought we'd have the bear or some shit. Good, good. I'm gonna just um. Yeah. Well then, thugs and hoodlums. Our thugs and hoodlums file cabinet is hoodlums out here. Can I help it if I come from a large family? All right. Ah. Uh, I did not expect to have Leonard. Who are you calling, Sam? There. Uh, Mr. Pizza. Mr. Pizza, two medium pineapple and asbestos pies, please. Uh, oh yeah. Well, same to you, jerk. What do you say? Thank you, and have a nice day. All right then. Anything on the answering machine? Um, Nothing useful right. in here. How ironic. I guess we can call. Who are you calling, Sam? Uh, the White House. The White House. White House. Agent Super Bowl speaking. Uh. Hello, please hold. Hello, please hold. Roger that. Our phone bill is sure going to be expensive this month. It's okay, Max. I've been paying them out of your retirement fund. Hello. Is anyone there? I wonder if he'll still be in that little alcove. You know what, I'm gonna go back and hang it up because I wanna go over to uh, Bosco. Wait, is that a Hugh Bliss? Ah, no, I, I should go back. <laughs> I should go back and maybe do dialogue things. But that's probably what I'm gonna have to do. 
or I'm gonna have to split up with Max and have him go there and me here or something. I don't know. Who are you calling, Sam? Oh, it hung up. Nobody. I just wanted to harmonize with the dial tone. Oh, good. I'm not the only one who does that. All right, answering. Anything? Oh, it has different ones. If it's a world without Resident Evil 6, it's fine. Sorry, I've been playing Resident Evil 6 lately, and... I... Uh, uh, just no, I'm a fan of the older ones, so the new one is terrible. Like the Resident Evil 6. It's just bad. Hi, he bliss. Of your book? Hey, free home delivery? Free home delivery sign. The sign's not free. Dang. Oh, my book is. Alright, what's up, Hugh Bliss? Whoa, look, Max. It's our favorite cultish crackpot, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Shouldn't I you be in, like, the something. shade? Take my credit card. Put me on your mailing list. Anyone you want me to recruit? You're supposed to give the Stockholm Syndrome a few days to kick in, Max. <laughs> Who has that kind of time? Oh, what are you doing here? What's a big celebrity like you doing on our street, Hugh Bliss? Why, I'm spreading the great news about prismatology! The magic and science of unlocking the harmony of colors for a revolution in holistic personal and interpersonal well-being? Now translated into 15,000 different languages, including Esperanto. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Yay! Uh, have you sold any? Are the books selling well? Selling? You can't put a price on imagination. Uh, yeah, you, you can't sell can. the wonder of a daydream or the laughter of a child. He's right. I've tried. Those last two, no, but first one, yeah. Uh, what's the book about? What was your book about again? Genetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness? It's about everything. And nothing at all. Oh. All right, then. Magic trick. Show us a magic trick, you Bliss. Magic is easy when the colors of your soul are Yeah, yeah, less <laughs> chatter, more magic. Okay, how about I disappear? Ooh. Your mind reading is obviously still working. It is. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I want you to leave. Except you won't be able to watch me because I'll be gone. Okay. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Yes, I know. See you later. Well then. President appoints action figure as Secretary of Defense. That is pretty crazy. Well, at least it was an action figure of John Shaft. Oh, I can dig it. Kevin, <laughs> what's... mafia-owned casino destroyed by a mysterious explosion. Hmm, I wonder what mysterious. that was about. I gave my name to reporters and even posed for pictures. I'm Sometimes not surprised. blowing something up is its own reward, huh? It's in the gumball machine Novelty today. gumballs. Shaped just like the real thing, but made of inedible plastic. Fool your friends, annoy your grandparents. Oh, that's terrible. Now well, let's go into Bosco's pants. <laughs> After we slap him into the into space, you know, just into orbit. All right. What's shaking, Bosco? Hey. Uh, greetings. Yeah, I was about to ask what ready. was up with the communists. I'm having trouble placing the accent this month. Mid-Atlantic states? The San Fernando Valley? Russia. Mm, I get more of a vague Baltic vibe. Something in a light Czech pattern. Ha <laughs> ha. Comrade Maximilian makes the funny joke. I am Vladimir Ilyevich Baskoborsky, Russian proprietor of Workers' Glorious Warehouse of Inconvenience. No? No. But now I make new start in America, which I love. So it's no need to aim in sophisticated targeting equipment at me. Uh. Okay, Bosco. What is it this time? And why with Russian? The Soviet bloc, Bosco. He's perfectly natural, comrade. I work with your American government in spirit of Glasnost. They know, they know! Who knows what? The feds, man! Uncle Sam! 
The government's watching us all the time. Well, so that's why I always feel an overbearing presence just out of my field of vision, watching and most judging people my people are every under move. the radar. That's me. Uh, why? Why is the government spying on you, Bosco? I don't know. Maybe it's because I know too much. Um, just humor the poor guy, Max. <laughs> but I make new stuff in America, which I love. So there's no need to target me. Okay, anyhow, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. This has been Kiara Zero Nachita with episode one of well, episode four, I think. Case one oh four. Abe Lincoln must die. I don't know what to make of that anyway. So thank you for watching and I hope you stick around for more. Bye!